Hey everybody, Paul here from TabletopGamer.com and in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the new Trollbloods uh, battle group for um, Hordes MK3. Uh, so these are uh, one of the new battle groups that uh, Privateer Press released um, recently with the update um, to their rulebook for uh, the MK3 update. So these new battle, uh, battle group boxes are awesome, um, especially for new players. Uh, they include a lot of uh, goodies inside. So this particular one for Trollbloods has uh, four miniatures. Uh, the miniatures are um, the main warlock is uh, Ragnar uh, Sky Splitter. Then we have um, the Troll Impaler, the Troll um, Axer, and the Troll Bouncer, which are all the light uh, war beasts that come in this kit. Okay. Uh, besides that, though, the kit also comes with um, well, it comes with the four miniatures. Comes with a ba uh, basic training tutorial guide, a battle map, introductory guide, um, the Horde's Primal Rules Digest, 18 inch ruler, four six sided uh, dice, 15 fury tokens, three spell tokens, and an obstacle card. So let's dive in and take a look at those things. All right, so the first thing we have is the. Uh, uh, Primal Rules Digest, which is basically a miniature version of the rule book. Obviously, it doesn't have all the lore that the big book does in the beginning, but it has pretty much every single rule. Well, it has all the rules in it um, uh, in a much smaller, more compact little book. So this is awesome for uh, when you're going to be playing, you know, at uh, traveling to play somewhere. Just pack this little rule book, then you don't have to haul the big one around. Okay, so that's uh, that's included in this uh, in this box. Then we've got the uh, the ruler, 18 inch ruler, which is basically just a it's kind of like a plasticky laminated plastic paper type of thing. Looks pretty durable though. So if you don't have a tape measure, they set you up with a basic ruler um, inside the box. Then we've got the uh, introductory guide for uh, troll bloods. So this basically just gives you a little bit of background about um, the Trollbloods and specifically Ragnar in here, I'm reading. Um, and then it goes on to battle group tactics from the Trollbloods, um, some expanded options, and then what to do, like um, growing your force, like how to build up a, um, the next level of army. A little bit of... Um, assembly instructions and stuff like that, some painting tips for um, uh, for the Trollbloods, like which colors to use if you want to make them look like the ones in the box, shading and that kind of stuff, how to paint the leather. Weathered stone effect. So yeah, so there's the uh, introductory guide that comes in there. Um, then we've got the battle map. Now this thing, I can't really unfold it here, but it's basically... Um, it's, I think it's about two feet by two feet, uh, more or less. And what this is, is it's a battle map that you can use to play games, obviously, but also um, it's mainly, uh, it was mainly designed for the basic training um, process of teaching you how to play um, War Machine of Hordes. So I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the basic training guide, and I think this is one of the coolest things that's in this box, especially for new players. Um, it basically goes through, it gives you all the you know, templates that you can cut out. And what they basically do is they give you these um, uh, stat cards. These are like training stat cards. Um, so instead of using the stat cards for the actual troll bloods that are in this box, you use these training stat cards and you learn how to play the game. I'm assuming the reason they did this is so that they can create one basic training guide for all the different hordes, factions, and not have to include, uh, not have to create a specific training guide for troll bloods and another one for the different uh, for the different factions. So, essentially, you use the miniatures that come in the box um, to go through the training. But instead of using the cards that come in the box, you just replace it. So instead of the um, the warlock that comes with the troll bloods, you're using this training warlock and the stats that he has, so that they can explain to you how to actually play the game. Um, and basically what they do is, uh, so this is a picture of the map, so that this little map here, um, when you unfold this, it has these little markers like 2 and A, B, C, D. Uh, there's all these little marks 
on the map it's got a little bit um you know some tree cover some terrain and stuff like that so basically what they do is when you unfold it you put it like this then you set up your mission so this is where you uh this is where you place your miniatures and then it goes through and teaches you you know turn one this is you know teaches you how to um how to move your miniatures around the board and how movement is um affected by you know going around things or going around terrain and stuff like that and how to you know how measuring works so basically it's kind of obviously you know the stuff is covered in the rule book as well in detail but um i've been going through these just for fun to kind of go see how you know how they did this and it's actually really cool because it's it's way easier to learn when you're actually just doing the, the process at least for me instead of reading about it and trying to visualize it in your mind so they kind of just go you know move it move this guy from here to here this is how you move the thing and then if you you know um if you're going if you're going to move from here from this point to this point you can't walk you know through these guys here you have to go around so they teach you you know how to measure that and all that stuff so you use a little ruler that comes in the box and you go through these missions and you know the first mission is movement then they move into terrain and movement so how does you know uh how does terrain affect the way that you move uh, and then they get into range combat concealment and cover how you know how obstacles and stuff like that work in the game um they move into melee combat charging spending fury and boosting war beasts spell casting so basically every mission that you go through mission 10 offensive spells every mission that you go through basically builds on the previous missions that were in this book and the idea is that by the time you get to the end of this uh training manual by the time you finish uh, mission um, 11 the basic duel you pretty much know how to play the game at least the basics of course you know obviously it, it, you're still gonna have to play a lot to get the experience and, and stuff like that but the actual mechanics of the game are all taught in this uh, new basic training uh, guide they didn't have this in the old version i think in the old one they had like a like a two pager or something like that which just had like very very basic just text um and it wasn't really that easy to learn from that this is way better way way better so for new players you're gonna love this all right, so then we dive into the actual miniatures. Now, with the minis, what they've done now is they actually make them with a um, they make them with a plastic that's colored. So, um, for example, the Kador box that I just unboxed uh, the other day, uh, the miniatures in there are red. These troll bloods are like a light uh, light blue color. So I guess the idea behind that is that you can just assemble them, put them together, and you can actually start playing the game right away without even having to uh, to paint them. So it gets players started it gets them playing the game uh much more quickly and, and then of course you know um if you want to i mean some people i guess won't even do that but um you can obviously paint the miniatures as well so just prime them and then uh paint them however you like but if you haven't primed them yet and you haven't painted them yet at least you have um and you have the miniatures on the gaming board like let's say i was playing troll bloods versus Kato or something like that It'd be easy to tell, you know, the troll bloods are blue, the cater are um, are red, so it's easy to see them on the on the gaming board. So that's kind of cool. It's a it's a it's kind of a new thing um, that they've been doing. It's just each faction kind of comes with a um, the plastic isn't just gray; it's now colored. So these are the uh, the miniatures that are in the box. <clears throat> then we've got the uh, set of uh, four dice. We've got all of our uh, tokens. And then we've got the uh, the actual cards. Now there's one extra card in here. I'm going to open this up. So we've got the um, um, all the stat cards. This is the one for the troll impaler, the troll um, axer. Then we've got uh, Ragnar. This is the card for him. So this is uh, Ragnar, Sky Splitter. He's got two cards, and then we've got the Troll uh, Bouncer, and that's his card. Now, this little card here, this is basically just an obstacle card for the um, for the training missions. So basically, you just bend this in half and fold out the flaps, and then this um, acts as like a uh, an obstacle that you can use in the training mission. So when they're teaching you how terrain affects um, the game, and you know the movement of the miniatures, and um, you know range combat, and that kind of stuff. Um, they just give you this little card that you can use to kind of learn the basics of um, of, uh, of the game mechanics and how obstacles affect the game mechanics as well. 
So these are all the uh, the new cards, obviously, with uh, with all the stats for MK3, and um, and yeah, that's basically what's in the box. I'm not gonna bother putting these back in a little plastic thing. So you get the the cards, you get the miniatures um, that are now colored, you get the tokens, the dice, um, the basic training guide, which I think is really cool, especially for new players. You get the battle map that goes along with that. Um, you get an introductory guide to the troll bloods. And uh, you get your ruler, <clears throat> and of course you get your uh, miniature version of the uh, the rulebook. Now these sets are um, roughly they retail for I think I picked this one up for about forty five bucks Canadian, which is probably mm, I don't know depending on exchange rate probably about thirty eight forty bucks US or something. Not sure what the price on these are uh, is right now while you're watching this video, but I think it's an awesome deal um, with the amount of stuff that you get in the box. Um, especially if you don't ha already have some tokens and some dice, and uh, um, if you don't have the, you know, the miniature version of the rulebook, um, I think it's an awesome deal that you get uh, with these sets. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.